Hello, this is Matt F. Bitcoin. F. Bitcoin. As in forget Bitcoin. I rejoined the Bitcoin world this morning. I saw that it was coming down, 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 got past 40, near 39, touched 36, and then came back up. So I logged in my Coinbase, and this is a tip. If you have Coinbase, trade on Coinbase Pro. You go to Coinbase Pro, and that way you can, ex you can trade on the exchange. There's minimal fees. If you buy direct on Coinbase with a credit card, you get a fee, but you can also trade on Coinbase Pro. So I logged into my Coinbase Pro, and the last transaction I had was three years ago, and it showed me selling Bitcoin at 7000 right? So I sold all the Bitcoin I had for about $7,000. So I logged in, and I could do an instant transfer from my bank. So I sent money to Coinbase Pro, and they let you trade on it right away. You just can't withdraw it within seven days. So these are tips in case you're interested in investing. So again, if you link a bank account, there's no fee to send money, no fees, and then you can trade right away, but you can't withdraw the money for seven days. So basically they almost loan you your own money because most of the time you would have to wait till the money landed. But maybe my account's so old, they just said, you know, he's grandfathered in or something. But check it out. If you want to buy Bitcoin, go to Coinbase Pro. Do not buy directly on Coinbase. So here's what I did. It hit 36. And again, I know how to play. So I got my money there. I started to trade, set some limit orders down, down, down. Averaged about 3,800 or 38,000. So I had like 10 different orders all around 38,000. And you get so excited when it gets, when you get picked up, right? And I'm just watching it. It grabbed me. God, grab, grab me, grab me. And it got me, I, my lowest one was 37,100. Got picked up. I was so thankful. And then it dumps all the way to 30,000. This is what Bitcoin does to you. It rips your freaking heart out, rips your nuts off, right? but you kind of still love it. That's why I say forget Bitcoin. This just brought back memories from three years ago why I got out of it. It takes so much of your heart and your energy. So I watched it go to 30 and I'm just kicking myself going, you're the stupidest guy in the world. And I think Bitcoin's the only thing that can make you feel the stupidest or the smartest in the world, right? Luckily, I didn't sell at 30. I just watched it climb back up to 35, 37, and now it's at about $40,000. So really, out of all that drama, you know, I'm still a little bit ahead. So forget Bitcoin is what I want to say, even though, hey, when I saw that dip, it's so enticing. Like you want to get back in because you think this is your last chance to buy in, finally, right? You thought it had already gone off. But hey, this morning there was a shot. And if you had your money ready, you could buy it. And there's no way to time the bottom. That's the one thing I had to forgive myself about, right? I bought it 38,000 and that was pretty good, right? It dipped to 30,000. There was no way I could have predicted that. I was so excited when my limit orders filled because I said, man, I got it. Hey, it'll work out in the end, but F Bitcoin, man. It's, it's so drama filled, but it, it's also exciting. So if you're into it, get it. If you're not, don't. But my main advice is if you want it, set up a Coinbase account and then get to Coinbase Pro and trade with minimal fees. Don't pay the large fees on the Coinbase site. That's it. This is me. I'm getting back to silver. It's so much more fun. All right. See you guys next time.